Peter Reagan Smith from Oklahoma. You've been looking so comfortable, so confident this year. What's changed for you? I don't know, I guess kind of just my mindset kind of switched. Um, since you're here training in the summer, I knew I wanted to get better than last year. And so I worked really hard in the summer and preseason. Talk about guiding the freshmen. What do you feel like your leadership role has been on this team? I kind of, I'm like the hype man on the team, I guess. I'm kind of crazy. Uh, I like to listen to music loud. I just like to pump everyone up. So if like, if someone's struggling in the gym one day, I'm like, come on, like this, the hard days is like when you're gonna get better. I feel like I definitely motivate the girls or, or help them get better if they're having a rough day. What was that moment like when you scored your very first perfect 10? It was really uh, joyful, I guess, for me, because I never thought I would be able to get the score. Even though I've been doing it like that in practice, I just wasn't sure. I was so happy because I was like, I'm never going to be able to get a 10, and I finally got it. And it just, I just had an excitement of joy when I saw the score go up, because like I had no idea I was going to get it. And then all my teammates were like, come here, come here, come here. And I was like, what? I was just so not ready for it, I guess. So that was really exciting when I got it. Coach KJ Kindler told us an interesting story about Reagan. After she scored her first perfect 10, she called her coach Kim Zemesko Burdett, who was the former world champion herself, and said, hey, are you coming up to watch me at OU get another 10? <laughs> How about that? Well, this is an outstanding lights out gymnastics. The top two teams in the country, OU goes to beam where they're number one. And guess what? Michigan's going to floor where they're number one. Won four titles at Oklahoma with the last one coming in 2019. Well, Beth Plocky won her first one last year in her 32nd season as Michigan's head coach. Kindler has another distinction. She's the only active coach. In fact, she's the only coach in NCAA history to bring two teams to the NCAA finals. She did it at Iowa State before she moved to Oklahoma to take over this program. One of her former standout students, Miley Kaneva, is in the house tonight. You can see that she was two-time national champion when she competed for the Oklahoma Sooners. Now she is in her third year as an assistant for Michigan, and she specializes in beam and floor. And great to have her back in town. Oklahoma on the bars tied the NCAA record with the highest score, UCLA and Cal doing the same, 49-8-2-5. The Oklahoma Sooners lead by just under four tenths of a point at the halfway point, and that brings up local Jenna Dunn. And Jenna Dunn owns this leadoff spot. She has been so solid, consistent, calm, always leading the team off. This routine is highlighted by a triple series. You earn extra bonus points for connecting these three skills. Travels down the length of the beam. Two back handsprings to a layout step out. The judges look for the difficulty in the acrobatic and in the dance, like these leaps and jumps. You need to hit a full split in the air for no deduction. Gainer full off the side, short and sweet, great lead off. She has hit eight for eight routines, now nine for nine for the Sooners in that lead off spot with a season high, 9925. Triple series, looking at it from the view the judges have, you can really see whether the legs stay completely straight throughout the entire sequence. Abby Brenner, the senior, will lead off Michigan on floor. Michigan trailing by just under four tenths of a point. They need to be superb in this rotation. And they can be superb. One of the things they do better than any team in the nation is find the landings on all of their tumbling passes. Each pass must be landed with complete control, no extra steps or bounce. 
when they step into the lunge, which is allowing them to keep that front foot down to show complete control. She opened with a full twist and double back and comes back with a back one and a half twist to a front layout. for bringing energy, and you can see it in her. She's had an awesome year on bars and floor for the Wolverines. And she's like this in training as well. Just a bright light on this team. Always happy, always up, full of energy. Back to the beam now. Olivia Troutman, the senior from Minnesota. Great to see her in the lineup. Just her third meet of the year, Sam. Yeah, I spoke to teammate Danae Fletcher, and she said, sometimes I call our school the University of Olivia because she is just that good. She is their secret weapon, and she's coming back at the right time. Danae said that she is intentional with every turn, and the whole beam lineup rarely makes mistakes in practice. Sam, you know as well as I do, you have got to have ice water in your veins. That's such great basic training to come in mid-season on this event and be so solid, so calm. This is her third year in a row. She came back from an injury and joined the team late in the season. Everything is just so solid, so secure. And you can tell they know this meet is close. She fought to hold on to that position out of the front toss. Judges look for the tiniest of little breaks. Even a lean will be a slight deflection. Wow, she tried to keep those toes glued to the floor. Just three B routines for her this year, a season high, 9925. Interesting that she had been dealing with a knee issue, and yet she can still do B. Coach Lou Ball told us she's getting ready on the other events, and they may even have her in the all-around by postseason. Yeah, KJ said she's like three days away from being able to do that vault, and they just didn't want to push it. 9875 for leadoff Abby Brenner. That brings up Abby High School. Great music for this performer. She is great as a fire here. She can tumble. Incredibly well. Watch this double Arabian so high. Good control. It's a difficult skill to know where you are before you land. Combination pass here, back one and a half. The front layout. I didn't see a flag go up. I Typically, didn't. a sideline judge would raise a flag if she went out of bounds. Out of bounds is one tenth of a point in Double. addition to the step. Double Arabian. She absorbed that landing pretty well to keep that step 
as minimal as possible. And here's the pike double back. Let's see how she landed. Over rotated, bounced way back, but stayed in bounds. So didn't give away that tenth of a point, but they'll take off a deduction for the big hop. Olivia Troutman score 9825 after Jenna Dunn had a 9875. That brings up sophomore Kat Lavasser. Who's beautiful on this event. And she's becoming so much more confident. The required Echo series is right here. She does back handspring layout. Very secure. Switch lead to a straddle quarter. You have to connect those skills with no pause or hesitation or extra movement in between to get credit for the connection. Front aerial a little bit sloppy with the form. That second leg that coming over the top, slightly soft. Nice needle scale showing off the flexibility. Which lead to back handspring right into the dismount. Nice connection there to finish the routine. There's a great NBA primetime matchup tomorrow night on ABC and the ESPN app. Steph, Clay, and the Warriors are in LA to take on LeBron and the Lakers. Our coverage begins with NBA countdown at 8 Eastern. amazing things about this team, Kathy. One is that they use sometimes four or even five all-arounders at Michigan. Today, Wojcik, Haskell, Morrison, and Bricks Brooks all in the all-around. So 16 of their 24 teams come from just four athletes. Naomi Morrison, I love the personality in this routine. Half in, half out, great control. set before that full twist. Beautiful position on that first leap, especially really hit the 180. Nice amplitude off the floor too. Just as she showed off amplitude on the lip, leaps, watch the height of this double back. It's usually big, oh, sky wow. high. Double back, <laughs> holds that front foot down. Great technique. As I said, I love the personality of the yeah, team. Great. The smiles are just right. She does a full twisting double back. Half in, half out. So the first somersault has a half twist, the second somersault half twist, and the last pass just really lifts it up. Good control on there. Audrey Davis will be next up for the Sooners on beam. They have two nine eight seven fives and a nine eight two five. Love this mount sequence. Shows off balance, strength, flexibility. When you can set yourself apart immediately, grab everyone's attention, especially on this event. In the tentative lineup, we thought we might see her in the all-around tonight, but now just scheduled for two events, bars and beam, and you saw her on bars get a 9.975 in that record-setting bar performance for the Sooners. Cancering layout, excellent. Look at the strength in her feet. Really precise. Cat leap into front area. Nice straight legs throughout the entire skill. Nice 
Nice little bead chop into a ring jump. The ring is where the front leg is straight. They're in a complete split and they bend that back leg up so the toe nearly touches the top of your head. Round of double twist. Wow, good for her. Did everything in her power to hold on to that landing. She was kind of back on the heels, so it wasn't perfect. But it was close. You know, Kathy, in basketball, they say sometimes, you know, basketball players have soft hands around the net. They just have the touch. She has soft feet yes. on beam, doesn't she? They're soft, but they're strong. Right. That's the key. Sam? Yeah, head coach KJ said the reason that Audrey is doing so well is her strict attention to detail. She reviews all of her videos and nitpicks herself to try to get to the next level. You're seeing it show up here tonight. Sierra Books now. 9-9-2-5 was the score for Naomi Morrison, the high score so far for the number one team in the country on floor. And they got three big routines coming up. And Sierra's right. Number two, full twisting, double back. She has great difficulty in her routine. The second pass front through to a double back makes it look easy. What I love is the combination of flexibility and power. She actually has three double backs in this routine. The first one with a full twist. The second one out of the front top. She's going to end in a height wow. position, double back. That's amazing. So well done. Excellent. Pretty rare to see three double backs in a collegiate routine. That's great. Well, that's why she dropped the mic at the end of the routine. <laughs> And front, this is her combination pass. She does the front somersault through to the double back and then finishes with a more difficult pike double back. You get bonus, an extra tenth of a point for doing a double back at the end of the routine. For the Sooners on beam, Audrey Davis was rewarded for that technique with a 9-9. Carly Woodard, the senior from Kansas. Up now, she scored a perfect 10 in the meet. We were here covering it against Denver. Excellent beam worker. Very expressive, too, on this event. I like the down on the beam choreography, interesting leg work. The requirements on beam, a full turn of some kind in routine. Side aerial to back handspring, very difficult pass, well done. This is a front toss, which will go right into the beat jump. To show a dance after series gets that connection bonus. Beautiful needle scale. Really showing some nice beam work. Showing off her flexibility. Good back leg on that first lead. So far, this is an excellent routine. No built-in deductions. Nice to see. Side aerial oh, yeah. to the full. Wow. wow. That was superb. Senior night, so yeah, nice to nice. see. Beautiful, lost her little toe point right there on that back leg, but boy, what a performance, good for her. And what a big night for her. Senior night, as you mentioned, that outstanding performance. She's applying to med school, has a bright future ahead of her, and what she has contributed to this program has been epic. 
Gabby Wilson will be next up for Michigan on the floor. Sierra Brooks had a 9.95. So Michigan is doing what they need to do. They're only trailing by .25. They're closing the gap on the Sooners with these floor performances. And folks, you're in for a treat. The number one ranked gymnast on floor exercise. Scored a 10 against Rutgers a couple of weeks ago. She opens with a full twisting double back. That is perfect control. Love the feel of this routine. Suits her so well. Front layout, front full to front to, oh, just slightly under rotated. She had to scoot back a little. with a tuck double back. Nice job. And I had the pleasure of meeting her father in the workout room <laughs> at our hotel. And as I told him, you have got to be so proud of your daughter. What a career she is having. That's where she was a tiny bit short because she was going for perfection. She was trying to stick. Just got a little ahead of herself and under-rotated it. Reagan Smith coming after Carly Woodard got a 995. So the Sooners have the last two scores 99 for Davis, Woodard 995. And as we mentioned, Reagan Smith has experienced a 10 on being twice this season. And she is a treat on this event. She moves so briskly. Watch how floaty this back handspring layout step out is. Woo! Wow. She pulled that back on and really gave up very little. They will take a slight deduction because it wasn't perfect. It's interesting to see how her confidence has grown now she's in her junior year. My favorite combination coming up here. Zachro series. She does a Straddle half to it. That handspring swing down. Really cool. OU has five hit routines. They have a lead of three tenths over Michigan. Watch this amplitude. Oh, and the flare out of that ball. One little part, the back hands from the little step out. She finessed it so well, though, because she was off. You could tell she was off in the air, slightly off to the right here, but she just minimized the adjustment, didn't overcorrect, no panic there at all, and kept it on. Natalie Voychuk will be the final. Competitor from Michigan on floor, Gabby Wilson at 9-9. Now, Wojcik has had a couple of off weeks the last couple of weeks, and she is such a superb, balanced gymnast. Which is why they put her here at the end of the lineup. Just took the pressure off, because she needs to get the feel for these passes. Front double full, there it is. There it is. Pike front, that's exactly what she needed. Just to be reminded how great she is and how well she can do that pass. And they switched her tumbling passes around to give her that confidence. So as you mentioned, Bart, they turn, switch these passes. She'll do the double back here in pike position. Again, much more control. This is going to do wonders for her confidence. Rudy in 
toast straddle jump. Really wants to control this jump. Out of the one and a half twist. See the perfect form. Those legs are just so straight and the toes so pointed. Just picture perfect. Such a treat to watch. Natalie Wojcik, the senior for Michigan. She's having a great day in the all around 9-9 on vault, 9-9-5 on bars. Absolutely. And that was the pass she was struggling with a little bit. And as she said, I've done this pass since middle school. <laughs> <laughs> so just had to get get the timing right again, get the feel of it. Be reminded, you got this. Michigan does an outstanding job on the floor, but the Sooners will retain the lead after that outstanding work on the beam by four tenths of a point. Sam has coach KJ Kindler right now. Thanks, Bart. KJ, your team is electric tonight. You beat the program record on bars. What does that mean to your team? I mean, it was an amazing bar rotation. To be honest with you, I was a little concerned going over to Bean because the emotions were so high. And boy, did Danae Fletcher light it up. First time she's doing that ball, sticks it cold. I mean, that just got everybody going. Does this competition, stacking up against the best, give you a lot of confidence going into postseason? Oh, of course it does. Yeah, we're so excited to have Michigan here. They're an exceptional team, and you have to rise up when you compete against a team like this. Thanks, KJ. Thank you. Sooners have the lead in front of 7,478 folks here in Lloyd Noble Center. The top two teams in the country will head to the final rotation in a little bit.